Good day everyone and welcome to Funch. In today's tutorial we will be designing a professional sidebar navigation in both dark and light mode. A well designed sidebar navigation can greatly enhance the user's overall experience by providing easy and quick access to important features and sections. Our primary goal is to create a sidebar navigation that is easy to use and aesthetically pleasing to the user. So let's dive right in and start designing. Okay, let's get started with this project. So first what you want to do is you want to import the starter pack files that we have provided in the description. So make sure to copy them and paste them to your Figma file. Let's start immediately. We want to select this desktop frame. Let's name this file. Oh, it's already named Sidebar Navigation. So let's name this, um, let's name this sidebar. There we go. Let's add a layout grid and it should be columns and make sure to add 12 of them and make sure to remove the gutter or the margin if there's any because we're not going to be needing any and what you want to do now is you want to create a frame to the second line and scale it all the way down add a fill now let's add an example color for the moment you can disable the grid it's okay and what you want to do now is we want to grab the background color here the first one and apply it to your frame there we go and you want to select this primary color the first one and apply it to the sidebar and there we go okay now we're going to design uh, the account uh, address its balance and the metamask icon so this is another crypto based project copy the metamask icon it's so small so make sure to zoom in and paste it here there we go Let's create a frame around the MetaMask icon and make sure it's. Uh, oh, you can remove the all layout actually. Let's remove this and just add 24, 24, and just copy it and paste here. There we go. And we want to add a fill, and you want to increase the corner radius to max. 20 should do the trick. Select the fill and select this background color. And you want something slightly lighter here. There we go. Okay, place it here. And let's add the text right now. So right here, the address 0x34. Dot 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 3214. Seagull UI font family in pixels we've been using this font family for a while it's very good good looking you want the second text to be 12 pixels and you want to write here the amount so let's write there we go okay so for this situation we're gonna need uh, the eye icon so we have provided it here just copy it and just paste it here you want this amount here to be slightly grayish and there we go that should do the trick d6 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 and the same should be for the eye the eye should be aligned almost to the top and let's try aligning it in the middle here I think it looks much better like this yeah it should be a way two pixels just group this and group it with the text together and align this it should be a way only six pixels group them as well and there we go now you can create a frame around all of this and what you want to do is you want to select your sidebar and you want to add an all oops no no layout you want to add the layout grid you want columns, you want two of them, and you want a margin of 16 pixels, and the gutter is not important here. And we have a frame around this, make sure to create one around the logo and the information here. And make sure to align this to the grid. There we go. You can disable the grid now, Control shift 4 to disable it. And you want to select this and add constraints left and top. 
so this doesn't uh, it, this image doesn't get distorted when we scale this this should be 16 pixels from the top by the way and we need to scale this two more pixels up there we go okay now what you want to do is you want to click hell and create a line here and scale that line all the way to the other end select this row color and select this uh, background here and you want something slightly lighter like this and at 0.75 here there we go that looks good okay let's now select the dashboard options here so the first one should be dashboard then we have pools and swap but first we need the icons select all of these icons and copy them let's paste them right here and let's uh, add these three first here there we go and let's write here dashboard should be 14 pixels uh, and I want this to be six pixels away there we go let's enable the grid we're gonna need it group this and you want to create a frame around it and you can add all layout now you want four pixels from the top and bottom and you can scale this all the way to the other end you can disable the grid now and you can add six pixels from the left there we go and what you want to do now is you can grab this uh, third color here third primary color and you can add it to this element so add fill just plot there we go you can disable the grid from the sidebar and you want eight pixel eight uh, corner radius here i was gonna say pixels okay so select this uh, icon and just add some grayish color here not totally gray just a little bit there we go okay let's copy this two more times here and let's just uh, select this icon copy it and paste to replace here make sure to paste to replace so it replaces let's uh, see the color here it's d7 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 apply it as well and you should write here pools and you want to select this uh, two arrow icon I want to paste to replace as well d7 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 and this should be swap there we go okay now you want to select these two elements and just uh, hide the fill by clicking on this eye and I want to select all option elements and just distribute vertical spacing and add 12 pixels you can group them now and you want to place them approximately 32 pixels from the top component there we go okay now we want some text here so we want account so these are the account options here this should be turning pixels slightly smaller and we want to add a slightly grayish color here it should be 16 pixels and we want it to be 32 spaced the top maybe 24 mm, let's go with 24 it looks good okay let's add these icons here we're gonna need these we're gonna need this as well so it's grouped let's ungroup this and group these again and let's uh, copy this wallet icon and place it here and d7 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 this should be portfolio copy this two more times copy this icon paste replace here and the same color d7 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 and we want this options as well here this is settings d7 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 there we go you can delete this and we want to add distribute vertical spacing and we want 12 pixels like the rest group them and place them 16 pixels from account there we go maybe we can put this 32 pixels away makes more sense yeah there we go and we're gonna need to, the rest of the icons here uh, let's move this outside for the moment so it doesn't 
belong in a group. So I'll do this sign out and paste it here. Let's uh, here right here sign out and let's copy this help icon all right help copy it one more time so this sun icon right dark mode you can delete this now so these three elements and add a d7 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 to the black select them once more and uh, 12 pixels of spacing and you want this 16 pixels from the bottom there we go okay the only thing we're missing here is the switch uh, switch uh, component here so select your dark mode then create a frame inside this and it should be 20 pixels scale it a little bit and add a fill let's make sure it's distance 4 pixels from the end and uh, let's around it uh, 12 should be enough corner radius and we want to create another element inside it and this element should be 16 pixels height because we need two pixels on each side and it should be the same for the width 16 pixels so we have a perfect circle let's add uh, the color here so I can demonstrate and add 8 pixels of corner radius there we go so we can place this at the other end it should be two pixels from the right let's copy it and we want uh, a distance of four pixels when this circle goes to the other one or to the other side so it's still only two pixels now so we want to scale this two more times this is what i'm talking about that's two pixels here and if it's on the other side they're gonna have four pixels spacing we can delete this one and you can select th this element and add a fill of this background and just find something slightly slightly lighter there we go you can select the circle now and we can find a good green color i think this should work well it's it, it's four pixels from the top and three pixels from the bottom but that's okay it's only one pixel so it's fine okay now we have the dark mode design ready we can continue and design the light mode copy the sidebar let's grab our colors here so we can grab this uh, background color apply it to the whole frame and now you can grab the secondary primary color and apply this to the sidebar there we go what you want to do now is just copy this text color and apply it to the cop to the address here okay now you can select this frame here and you want to add the same fill here and find something slightly slightly dark there we go okay you can select the line as well and let's give this line the same color from this should be fine yep let's find something slightly dark there we go this should work okay okay you can select your text here what you want to do now is like we want to experiment and find a color that works well for this so we want to uh, let's select this uh, color here and let's experiment from there on okay this should be okay apply it to the eye as well good okay now we want to select this uh, last fourth primary color and apply it to this element fill there we go now you want to select the icon and we want to find uh, this color here but we want to experiment here want not the same color let's try this one apply it to the text as well Okay, let's try with the text here okay that should work well copy the color and apply it here as well okay great you can use this color now you can select all of these option elements hold shift and just just drill down into them and don't select the last one and just apply it to both 
selection colors okay now you can drill into this and just select these two elements because we don't want to mess this up okay there we go let's add a color to the account as well add the same color but we want something slightly lighter there we go okay the only thing that's and we need to fix here is we want this to go on the other end and we want to pixels select this whole component and apply the same background and we just want something slightly darker grayish there we go and we want this to be as well darker than the than its parent component and there we go okay the only thing we should uh, do right now is we want to add a prototype so select this sidebar and add the flow starting point here you can name this uh, switch and you want to select this element and just uh, use this plus and point it to the next frame here so when you click this this should happen so you want it to be on click and you want it to be smart animate it should be instant maybe on default at your screen but make sure to add it at smart animate 300 mega, uh, milliseconds and let's add the flow point to back as well for the dark mode there we go let's uh, activate the switch make sure it's uh, fully full screen and when you click on the screen it's gonna light up so that's the prototype option prototype point and there we go we have a functioning dark mode light mode sidebar switch and we have a whole sidebar a very good one okay guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it you learned something new hopefully you learn how to design this uh, attractive sidebar and you can use this into your future projects so you know how to design a sidebar if you need one thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment if you like this video thank you guys